Here we're going to briefly explore a text file in the BBEdit text editor. This video assumes you've already downloaded and installed BBEdit and that you have downloaded and unzipped the intro compute.zip folder to your home directory. Go to the intro compute folder on in your home directory and find the example.txt file. And we're going to open this with BBEdit. This is a tab delimited text file that has a header line up at the top uh, with column labels and then rows of data associated with the various samples. Often the problem with analytical software for data analysis is that the input file isn't formatted correctly. So viewing and exploring the input file in a text editor can help you troubleshoot any formatting errors. The first thing to check for is any unusual or unexpected um, formatting and to do this you need to be able to view the invisible characters that are within all files. And these invisible characters are instructions that organize the file in a certain way. To view these invisibles in BBEdit you need to select View, Text Display, and Show Invisibles. In this file you can see a bunch of triangles show up and these are symbols that indicate a tab occurrence in the file. Also at the end of each row you can see a new line symbol that instructs, instructs the um, next bit of information to start on a new line. And in this way you can check for errors in your data file. For example, if there was an additional tab, for example between these two bits of data, you would see it as a second triangle and you would know that that's not supposed to be there and you could easily correct that. You can also change the color of the invisible characters and the overall appearance of the text editor window by choosing preferences under the BB edit menu. In this case the tab and new line symbols are considered spaces and we can make those whatever color we want. Here I'm going to choose to make them green and you see that they show up as green. I'm going to restore the defaults here because I like the way the defaults look and come back to our window. Another important aspect of text files is the format in which they're saved. If you look at the menu at the bottom of the screen you can see that this particular file is a legacy Mac formatted file because it was created on a Mac computer. Most of the data analysis for large data sets requires a Unix based format. So you can select the drop down menu and choose Unix. And the next time you open this file, it will be a Unix format, but you'd have to save it first. It's also important to use text editors rather than word processors for visualizing and formatting data because word processing programs like Microsoft Word include a lot of hidden information that will corrupt your file and cause analytical software to crash or fail. As an example, if we go back to our folder and open the example1.rtf file with bbedit. Now this is the same data um, as seen in the example one.txt file. The difference is that it, the text file was opened in Microsoft Word and then simply saved as a rich text file format. You can see that it's very different from the, the example one.txt file and has a bunch of information that we don't really care about um, and that will cause the, the um, data analysis to fail. So it's really important to avoid word processors for viewing and editing your text files. So that gives you an overview of visualizing and troubleshooting tab-delimited text files in the BBEdit text editor.